I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresco with your need to know weather. A weather alert day for today due to the threat of some extremely hot conditions, dangerous with now heat, excessive heat warnings and heat advisories being posted all across southeast Texas. Those excessive heat warnings mean that the heat index values, the feels like temperatures this afternoon will peak around 110 to 114 degrees. Along with the threat for excessive heat, still some dangerous rip currents in place through this evening all along the coastline as those strong southerly winds continue. So please be careful. Make sure if you are spending time along the coast, along those beaches, that they are guarded. You are swimming near those lifeguards, heeding all those warnings. As far as temperature readings today, not too far off from the record high at Bush Airport. 98 degrees is the record. Uh, today's forecast right around 96 degrees, 97 in Katy. Now we are looking at a small chance for a big thunderstorm uh, later on this this evening. Most of the day should stay mostly dry with just a few scattered clouds. Those showers and thunderstorms moving in from the hill country later on tonight and perhaps even moving into the Houston area between 10 p.m. and midnight, followed by those conditions improving. We start off Tuesday mostly dry. Another hot one, but less heat on the way as those showers and thunderstorms roll through late in the evening, this time around north and east of the Houston area. Some of those thunderstorms spreading overnight Tuesday and into Wednesday. So a frontal boundary will be moving toward southeast Texas where eventually it will stall. That will be the focus point of a few strong and even a couple of severe thunderstorms locally. As that frontal boundary stalls out on Tuesday, there will be a slightly higher risk, a level two out of five, for severe thunderstorms to pop up basically west of Washington County, west of the Brenham area. You can see that the rainfall totals over the next seven days, anywhere between one to two inches of rain respectively, although there will be those isolated thunderstorms that produce more than those two inches. And you can see some of the highest rainfall totals centered just west of the Austin area up toward the Dallas Fort Worth uh, locations and around the Red River. The flood risk, uh, not concerned about any flooding today, but tomorrow and into Wednesday, you can see the flood potential does increase for parts of southeast Texas. So we are going to from a drier pattern to a wetter one this week with the best rain chances moving in by the middle of the week. All right, that's a look at your forecast on this Memorial Day. Please be safe out there and try to stay cool.